So recently I had a friend call me and tell me that he was feeling really, really down. He was noticing that when he was coming back to what he called reality, when he wasn't meditating for hours a day and consuming only high vibrational content, he found himself feeling really angry, upset, tense. He was quick to react to frust- with frustration to his girlfriend, to his family, his loved ones. He kept saying that he knows that if he could just come back into consciousness, he'd feel so much better. And I've been there too. I've been so irritated, so dense and just low vibe that the only way I could think of dealing with it was by locking myself away, away from people and not interacting with anybody. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the baby elephant community. Actually, we are rebranding around here. I posted recently on my community tab and our community tab that I want to start calling us the B community, as in B-E, as in baby elephant, you know, still paying homage to the baby elephant community that got us to where we are now. But I do think that it is kind of like an end of an era. I started this channel when I was 23, 24 years old. And that name, if you don't already know where it came from, it really worked for me back then. It was basically alluding to the fact that the universe will give you whatever you want and it doesn't understand big and small. You can ask for a pen and you can ask for an elephant. And somehow, a you know, my love of elephants came together and we became the baby elephant community. But it is five years later, four or five years later now, and everything has to grow up, right? Everything has to transcend and mature and I think let me know what you think in the comments below if you're feeling it but I think the B community as in B as a human being we are being right being <laughs> it would be great if I knew how to say that because as many of you tell me often I mispronounce that word you know foreigner problems but I think that the B community is a great place for us to be you feel me Now, I know that there's another elephant in the room, which is that I'm basically speaking into a microphone and this is very different for this channel, but I've always liked this kind of format where a person is speaking into a microphone, looking into the camera and it's a conversation like me and you, I have my computer here, I can look things up if I want to. I'm a big fan of this format. I know that a lot of people like me just sitting in front of a camera. You don't see a mic, you don't see anything, and I'm just staring into the camera the whole time. I really want to know what you think. The thing is, I am starting a podcast, and this just feels really right to me right now. So I'm thinking we'll do some videos like how I used to, which is just me straightforward with the camera, some videos with this amazing new microphone that I got. I'll tell you guys more about it another time, but I just feel like it's going to be so much more conversational this way and it just feels right. So let me know what you think. Let me know how this feels to you. I know that there's a lot of changes happening and all of us are very happy with too many changes at once, but um, that's where we're at today. So today we're going to talk about how to basically see, I I think that I'm going to probably clickbait the title and title it something like how to stop feeling negative emotions because obviously we're not trying to stop feeling negative emotions it's really how to combat unconsciousness how to work through negative emotions how to come back to a good place when you feel like you've lost yourself a lot of us sometimes feel like we slip off right like we are off our game we're not doing our routines anymore we're not feeling as good as we used to and it shows up in our relationships it shows up in our in our life and we see it with the way that we react to people and the things that we say and how we feel about ourselves so I really had this situation with a friend who um, was really not feeling so well and we had this whole conversation and by the end of the conversation he was like oh okay I feel so much better and I was like okay well this is going to be a great video topic because we all go through this I go through it all the time But before we get into the full video, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Gymshark. If you're not already familiar with Gymshark, they are a super body positive uh, fitness clothing company. And they sent me a bunch of outfits, which I'm really excited about because after a three month hiatus of not working out, I'm finally back to it. I just feel so much better mentally when I'm moving my body, when I'm working out. It's a meditation for me. And Gymshark sent me a bunch of outfits and it feels so good to have a fresh, brand new, clean outfit to start your new workout routine, especially these crisp clothes. And Gymshark is so reasonably priced and they're really made for athletes. So I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. 
I think I have to take this with me. That's the thing about microphones. So I'm wearing the, their leggings, which kind of cinch the waist in. That's why it looks a little bit cinched over here. And also, sorry to flash you right now, but this is just a sports bra. Their V-neck sports bra. These are all new. And their gray long sleeve crop top. It's great for if you do outdoor morning workouts and it's a little bit chilly. Here in LA, it's only cold for like... 30 minutes in the morning and that's usually when I tend to get out and work out. I'm going to link their stuff and what I'm wearing right now in the description if you're interested. I got a bunch of other things. Um, thank you again Gymshark for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you guys. We love you here on the channel. So as I was saying, I had this conversation with my friend and we kind of talked about how when we feel really just angry and frustrated and down about ourselves, the best thing for us to do really is just lock ourselves away from the world, just not interact with people for a little bit. And I personally think that that's not an unhealthy thing to do. I think that if you can, if you can shut yourself up in your room for a little bit and just be with yourself be with your emotions, be with your feelings. That's not an unhealthy thing. That's, um, you know, he agreed with me. He said that because he hates the place that he's existing in at the moment, he thinks that the only way he can get through this is with no human interaction. And on one hand, I actually do agree with this. There's nothing wrong with retreating, with pulling back your energy until you feel better. There's nothing wrong with taking a hiatus until you're in a good place again. That's totally, you have the permission to do that. Why not? It's your life. It's your world. But we can't always take a hiatus. And I'm aware of that. We can't always retreat. And many of us have to face life regardless of the vibration we're in, right? We have families to take care of. We have, you know, school to go to, a work to go to. We live with somebody and we can't just be alone. So what, regardless of the vibration we're in, sometimes we wake up and the day is just going to be crap. No matter what we do, we don't want to move our body. We don't want to meditate. We just want to be angry and exist in our denseness because it's just so much easier to exist in a very low vibrational place in a very dense, heavy place than to work your way back up to a feeling good again. So when we're in a situation like that, we're obviously not going to go from feeling so heavy, so dense and so crappy about ourselves to, oh, you know, it's my decision to be happy. I choose joy. Let me just feel good right now. Sometimes you can do that, but often it's a process. And so my friend asked me, what can I do to get back to a good place? What can I do that actually feels right? And it is a little bit of a process, but it's so worth it. So if you're finding yourself right now in a situation where you're feeling down in that sense, in that way, you can get back to a really good place, my love. You can do that for yourself. It just takes a little bit of adjustment and maybe a, a, an expansion of your perspective. And I hope to offer that for you today. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about that, that I offered to him is to just feel his emotions, feel the full range of your human emotions. I say this all the time, right? We came here to feel everything. And in this state, our triggers, our fears, our negative beliefs, they're much more apparent than they are when we're feeling good. So you're going to be triggered. You're going to feel something off a lot more easily when you're in this dense space. So that's kind of an opportunity, right? It's an excellent opportunity to identify exactly what you're feeling why you're feeling it and pinpoint the origin of these feelings because when you're feeling great when you're feeling on top of the world you don't recognize the little red flags that comes up, that come up for you with your triggers you're a lot less um, easy to trigger when you're feeling good so when you're feeling down that's an opportunity first of all feel the full range of your human emotions that's why you came here you came here to feel on this side of the spectrum and on this side of the spectrum the good and the bad, the highs and the lows. And it's so fascinating that we can feel the way that we do, right? So again, this is an excellent opportunity to identify what, you, what you're feeling, what's triggering you and why, so that you can work through these things. It's a time to lean into these emotions, not ignore them. We're not spiritually bypassing anything. We are working through them by feeling them. In order to heal something, you have to first feel it. If you don't allow yourself to feel, you're going to push things into the subconscious mind and they're going to start to manifest into your outer reality. When we, man when we push things into our subconscious mind, it creates shadows. We manifest 80 to 90% of our outer reality 
from the subconscious mind. So whatever you're pushing into there is going to be expurged, is that a word, out into your outer reality, into your physical reality. So my recommendation is to fully feel these emotions, the anger, the, the resentment, the frustration, all of it, and become curious about the negative things that you're feeling so that you can have that full and complete processing of the emotions. When you feel curious about something, you're kind of coming at it from like a scientific perspective, from an observer perspective, like, oh, I am identifying this feeling. This is how I feel right now. I'm super angry. I just snapped at my friend. I just snapped at the guy on the phone I, whatever it is becoming curious about that will allow you to process the emotion and it's very important to not judge yourself for feeling these things too number two the second piece of advice that i gave him is to look at everything as meditation he's he's an avid meditator he meditates for literally hours every day but when he gets off of his meditations when he's not meditating for a couple of days or for a couple of weeks even he just feels really really bad about it and that's why i kind of wanted to have this talk with him that he needs to understand that all of life can be a meditation. Every interaction, every situation is an opportunity to bring consciousness and mindfulness in. Everything that we do, we can become in a meditative flow-like state if we're fully focused at the task at hand, right? Really dropping into this moment where you're watching this video. I'm really dropping into this moment where I'm speaking to you. I see every challenge, every frustrating conversation, every situation as an opportunity. Ask yourself, how can I be more mindful in this moment? You're having a conversation, you're having a hard day and somebody's, you know, kind of making your day worse. How can I be more mindful here? How can I become more aware here? Because anger and closed offedness, it sends us straight into autopilot. We suddenly start acting from this place that's no longer us, especially if we've been on this spiritual journey for a while. We act from this egoic place again, where we're not, we don't really mean what we're saying or what we're doing, but we're kind of in autopilot. So I want you to take the wheel back, right? Come into full consciousness, choose autonomy, choose to be the leader in your life, right? Take deep breaths and see each moment as a meditation, each moment as a learning opportunity, each moment as a, an opportunity for growth and expansion. And that doesn't mean, oh, don't feel the frustration, be above it, don't feel the anger. That's not what I'm saying at all, right? What I'm saying is just to take the wheel back, experience things, experience it all fully and without judgment. Again, most importantly, don't judge it. Everything is a meditation and everything is a lesson. Everything is your teacher that interaction you had that made you feel negative that is your teacher and next time you can meditate through it by bringing full consciousness and awareness into it i hope that makes sense so what i'm saying is you know the other day i was feeling this way i was feeling super frustrated and angry and i was hungry and i had to order some food because i didn't have any any groceries at home so i called my favorite indian food place and they were being so mean to me. And honestly, really, I don't actually experience that often because I'm such a kind person. I can say that it's just who I've always been. I don't usually experience people being just outright mean to me and they're being really rude. And I lost myself and I never talk back to people. I don't um, argue, but I lost it because I was having such a bad day already. I was so over life already that I actually snapped at the person and I was like, I don't want this order, like cancel the order. And they were arguing with me saying, oh, we're not being rude, whatever. They were being rude. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that's fine. I can feel that anger. I don't regret feeling that anger because it was kind of cool to see myself lose it a little bit. To be honest, I haven't seen that side of me in a long time. But what would be more beneficial to me and to the other person is if I didn't lose it, if I didn't go into autopilot and just snap back and be rude back, if I took a deep breath in and came into full consciousness and full awareness and saw it as a meditation, well, something is off here in this interaction. Let me just be with it. Let me just experience it. This person must be having a hard day themselves. Let me just be with that. Just be with everything. And that leads me to the last point that I 
recommended to him, which was something that we talk about a lot on this channel. It's about opening, not closing, right? So when we feel like this, when we feel super negative, what do you do when you feel frustrated and betrayed and hurt? We want to close up. We hate everyone. Everyone is so annoying. So we close up physically, right? We kind of protect our heart by closing up like this. We close up emotionally. We close up energetically. And when we do that, we're actually closing ourselves up off from that divine loving connection that fills our body with love and animates it with love right so in this moment let yourself feel what you're feeling and then see it as a meditation pull your shoulders back and open even if it feels painful open open to everything whatever comes your way so think of someone who's getting on your nerves right now think of how you reacted out of anger in that situation like how i did with the with a guy at the restaurant. Think of how you reacted out of anger in that situation or jealousy or whatever negative emotion caused an outburst or caused you to feel negative. And now decide that no matter what this other person does, this is so powerful. I do this when I feel this way and it is so freaking powerful. No matter what this other person does, you're going to love them wholeheartedly, accept them wholeheartedly. Now, of course, this is going to be a lot more difficult when it's somebody who really hurt you than it is with the food delivery guy, right? But recently I had a fallout with a friend that I loved so much. He showed me his true colors and I got to a place where I felt so angry and so disappointed that I found myself almost wishing something bad for him for a moment. But I caught myself and I decided to imagine him with his big smile that I loved so much and to love him anyways, love him regardless of how he treated me and what he did to me and how he disrespected me. I opened physically and I sent him love and my body washed over with compassion and that compassion and that love is so healing for us. Forget the other person for a second. This is about you. It's so healing for you to do this, right? And suddenly I was relieved of the anger I had previously felt. And who's getting, who is really losing when we are entrenched in anger. It's us because anger makes us sick. Anger makes us stress, anger, all these negative emotions. When we carry them for too long, when we carry grudges for too long, it affects us. It affects our life. It doesn't really affect the other person. They're not thinking about it all day long about what you feel about them, right? So when you relieve yourself of that anger and when you decide no matter what this person did to me, I'm going to love them and think about them in a positive way, think about their big smile or think about that wanting good for them, you're going to feel better. You are. So you choose to love people regardless. And you can do that with anything and anyone. So those were the three little bits of advice that I gave to my friend and I decided that I wanted to share with you guys. I really want to know what you think about this video, what you think about this setup. I know it's a little bit different from what you're used to, but if you like it, I really do. And I'd love to make more videos like this. Um, it just feels more natural to me. This kind of brings through downloads. I don't know why having a microphone in my face just feels right. <laughs> So I love it. And I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on this video if you like it too. Comments, you guys, really help the channel. If you just want to say hello to me, we'll have a little conversation back and forth in the comments. It really helps the channel. Sharing this video if you like it. If you share it on Twitter and tag me, I see all your tweets and it makes me really happy. And I'll retweet it. We can talk on there too. I'd really appreciate it. I appreciate you. And I'd love to breathe more life back into our community, into the B community. And if you're with me, if you're there, i am looking for you let's have a conversation in the comments i love you i hope this was helpful for you um thank you again to gymshark for sponsoring this video i appreciate you be on the lookout the podcast i have a uh, launch date for it april 5th i'm very excited the podcast name is inner worlds with leora alexandra that's me if you don't know me nice to meet you please subscribe i love you guys so much thank you for spending some time with me and until next time until the next video keep your vibrations way 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 up bye <laughs>